Hi, I'm Michael Chess, Platform Evangelist, and today we're going to build our first dashboard together using Flex. And uh, I also have a PHP server running with a MySQL database. So, I mean, let's start. So I will create a new Flex project using the Flash Builder IDE and uh, call it uh, my dashboard. And I just indicate here that I'm using a PHP server in the back end. And this is it. So um, what you can do to retrieve data is, is to use the new uh, data services tab here. Uh, we say connect. Uh, I want to um, enable a connection with my PHP server. And I already have some um, PHP services somewhere. Here they are. OK, then it detects that there are two uh, methods exposed, get all company totals and get all company sales, and I need to uh, pass a region as a parameter. I say, okay, that's perfect. You can also use uh, the test operation tab. Say, okay, I want to test the get all company totals. You click test, and then here are the results. So I will got uh, okay f uh, an object with region, with totals, and an ID. Perfect. And if I test the other one, okay, I need to pass a parameter. Let's say EMEA. I click on test, and I've got also the sales and the year for this region. Great. Now let's build our dashboard. So first I need to uh, add here, a script tag, okay, and declare some variables. So let us focus on uh, the totals. Uh, I will uh, create an array collection, my totals, let me cast it, equals new array collection. Okay, great. Then in the FX declarations, a uh, new tag, within the Flex4 framework. Uh, let me declare my service. So it is a company set service. Uh, give an ID equals company service. And that's it. I also need a call responder for the first method. So let me create it. Call responder ID uh, should be um, responder totals. And also, I need to uh, handle uh, the result event. Okay, so automatically, it will create for me this method. Then, once the, the application is created, creation complete, I want to invoke uh, this first method. So let's say that uh, responders totals dot token equals company service. And here I've got my two methods. So get all company totals. And when I receive a result, I want to store it within my array collection. Here we are. We have uh, the first set of data, but now we need to display it. So let me cast it. Sorry. OK. Um, just to as a test, uh, I can say, OK, I need a data grid. And uh, the data provider should be uh, my totals. Let's run it. OK, great. Uh, I've got my data. But um, we are building a dashboard, so we need charting components to uh, transform this data into information. So if I switch to the design view, it's quite easy just to delete my data grid components and replace it with a charting component. So you can open the components tab and within the charts folder, let's pick up this one, the pie chart. And uh, yes, I want to include a legend. Let me move it just behind. And here we are, we have a pie chart. So it 
like the data grid, you need to set the data provider. So again, it's the same, my totals. And the field uh, for this, uh, this one, okay, I can use again a test operation. So just need to uh, take this, you click on test and you see that you will get some totals. Okay, totals and the name field will be region. Okay, let's run it. Perfect, I've got my pie chart. Uh, you can also choose to uh, add some uh, data tips. I love data tips. Uh, true. And uh, uh, rolling over, you have the details. Okay, great. So now what we want to do uh, is that when I click on EMEA, I want to display the trend of the sales for this region um, on the other charting components. So it's the same. So I will copy paste this variable to create a new recollection, my cells. Uh, I will also create a new call responder for the second method. It would be, for instance, uh, cells uh, responder cells. Sorry, responder cells. A new result handler. And when we receive a response, then my cells will store the results. Okay, now we need to invoke uh, the second method. So when you click on the chart, my advice is to use not the classic mouse click, but item click. Why? Okay, you will see why. So here, I'm able to um, invoke the second method. So let's say that uh, responder sales dot token equals company service dot get all company sales. And I need to specify the region. So it's quite easy here because I have a chart item event. I just need to say event dot hit data um, dot item dot region. Then I need to place another charting component. So this time we will use the column chart. Here. I don't need intelligent. Okay. The data provider will be the second array collection. My sales. And the Y field. Uh, let me check. You can all, um, again use this test operation tab. Click on test. And this time the Y field will be cells. You can also specify X field uh, year. Okay, let's try this and uh, see if our dashboard is working. Yes, it is. So here are the figures for APAC, for EMEA and South America. So now if you want to uh, express um, a little more the changes between all the states, uh, you can add charting effects like uh, series interpolate. You give a name, interpolate. A duration, let's say 500 milliseconds and assign it on your series. So you have the show data effect parameter and you just need to bind into interpolate. Let me copy paste it because you can reuse this effect on several charting. And this is magic. Whoa, EMEA, South America, North America and APAC. Um, so, as you can see, it's really easy to build dashboard and uh, actually Flex is used uh, for professional dashboard services like uh, uh, SAP is using it, uh, Salesforce is using it, MicroStrategy. So, within the BI, the business intelligence world, uh, Flex is uh, really a leader. So, 
I hope uh, that um, you will be able to build now, thanks to this tutorial, your own dashboard. And you can also go on our website. There is a Flex dashboard um, project with all the source code available um, on the Adobe website. So thank you.